Hey YouTube, this is Noah Yun um, coming to you with a tutorial on um, on rigging the eyelids. Okay, um, I know a lot of people like to use bones to rig their eyelids. Um, I've tried it, and it's just it's it gets cumbersome. It, it really gets to be a pain in the butt. Um, and then I've used um, bony face. And Bony Face really doesn't like Bones Pro. It really doesn't. And so then I had to take Bones Pro and convert it over to Skin Modifier. And then sometimes Skin Modifier and the Bony Face Modifier have an argument. And the, the vertices are just blown out of a port. It's just ridiculous. Okay, so I'm just going to show you um, a quick way, hopefully, of doing this so that you don't have to struggle with that okay so as you can see right now oh as you can see right now it's like it's like really loose um it's moving it's following it there's a target and it's following the target um let me open up the control so you can see so there's that and then um there's that okay so as you can see both eyes are already rigged alright so and there's a controller right here to control both eyes and as you can see both eyelids go up and down at the same time and they just they move naturally alright so let me show you how to do this um, yep alright so let me just hide some layers real quick just so I can see what's going on alright so here's my eyes here's with the controls I'm gonna go ahead and turn the controller off Right, I'm gonna click open this layer again. All right, so I'm just gonna show you on one eye because it doesn't make sense to go through both eyes because you can kind of get the understanding if I just do one eye. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that. All right. Um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Helper, which is right there. Okay, and you're gonna click on the Expose, Expose, man, Exposed Transfer. Blah. I'm sorry, it's, I haven't had much sleep. The Expose Transform node is what I believe it is called. All right, so I'm just gonna click that. I'm gonna throw that into space, all right? Um, the display, I already have the crossbar, or the crosshair, and the box on, and it's as a size 36. And the only reason why it's at that size, it comes at a default size of like 200 millimeters from mine, the way mine is set up, but um, I have this set to the same size as that. It's 36. It's just a random number, so it doesn't really matter. All right. So now I'm just gonna hit um, Alt A to quick align it, or you can just click the quick align right there. And I'm gonna quick align it to the eyeball. All right. And then you want to have the pivot point on both sides selected, as well as the X, Y, and Z um, checked. Okay. And then just click OK. All right. So from there. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go to the modify category alright so once you're there under the expose node you're gonna click that and you're gonna click the actual eyeball itself alright so from there I'm just gonna open up my bones layer and with the expose transform node selected or if you have to select it I'm just gonna go ahead and link it to the head bone alright so now we are almost sort of done Alright, um, before I move on though, I am going to rename this one just to keep everything nice and neat so that way I don't lose my shit um, because I didn't, I did something crazy and I did something wrong and I can't figure out what's what. Okay, and I did not mean to swear, but sometimes it just, it puts, it, it drives you to that point. Alright, so we're just going to click OK. Now from there, I'm going to go ahead and open up the Reaction Manager, okay? So these are already set. All I'm going to do is just delete it. They were already set previously, so I'm just going to delete it and show you from scratch. All right, so let me hide the bones. Let me bring back my character. Now, as you can see on the first list, it the exposed transform left eye local Euler Y. Now, what I did, and I didn't realize it, um, until many hours later is that I mirrored the um, character eyes and when you mirror it as everyone knows 
everything is the opposite. And I didn't realize that. I forgot. I made the character in stages, and I was working on the textures, and like I think two or three days went by, and I forgot what I did to the eyes. And so I couldn't figure out for the life of me why that on local Euler eye on both of them they weren't working right. It's because I flipped the vertice or I flipped the um, the um, the axis. So you're going to see a slightly opposite. Now, if you do your eyeballs correctly, the way they're supposed to be done, they'll be both on the same local Euler, okay? But mine aren't. So, no worries. I'm just going to go ahead and click on um, Master, and I'm going to make this Transform node the Master. We're going to go to ex uh, Object, Expose Transform Helper. We're going to go into, like I said, it should be there, but mine is on the X-axis. So, yeah. All right, then from there, I'm going to add Slaves. Um, my, uh, object, man, I really need sleep. Modified object, morpher, going to the right eye, and then we need one more because that's the look up, now we need to look down. So same thing, looking down now, okay, so now that we have that set and squared away, um, just to keep things nice and neat here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the reactions and then I'm gonna click on the state and what that's gonna do for me it's gonna add both of these um, underneath one state so just click that and now see you have both and you can go ahead and delete that one and it's just to make sure it's just to keep everything kinda nice and neat and tidy because as you well know working with the reaction manager things can get confusing pretty dang fast alright so from there um, yeah I just oh okay I'm back all right so I'm gonna click on my model I'm gonna go to morpher and I'm just gonna pin the morpher down just so it's I'm always going to that all right so I'm gonna start on the right eye um, and I'm gonna go to front mode I need to open back up my controls and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to um, I'm gonna move the eye up. Okay, I'm not gonna really worry about the numbers. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna eyeball it. <laughs> All right. So from there, that looks okay. So I'm gonna go to create mode, and then from there, I'm just gonna type in the value of 100 on the eye looking up. All right. From that point on, all I'm gonna do is just gonna hit create state. All right. So now we're gonna exit create mode, and then the eye follows, or excuse me, the eyelid now follows the eye. Okay. So now, I'm just going to go ahead and transform back that, or transform to zero. And then I'm going to do the other one. So pretty much the same steps as follows. Alright, so, and then I'm just going to move that down. That looks pretty decent. Alright, target look down. I'm going to go in create mode. And then right eye look down, type in the value of 100. Oh, wow, that eye. I didn't really realize that, how low that is. Alright, well, yeah, I might fix that a little bit later. Alright, then hit create state. And then we're gonna um, get out of create mode. And now, and as you can see in the morph channel, the more sliders going up and down as you move the eye. Okay, so that, in a nutshell, is pretty much. Oh, uh, see, what did I do? I did something dumb. All right, hang on. Let me back that out because let me close this out and open this up a little bit more. All right, so now I'm just going to grab my controller and both eyes and the eyelids are moving accordingly. Um, if you want to get really fancy, you can, when you're doing your morph target, you know, you can go back in and you can maybe do the lower lid um, to get a little bit more realism with it um, as the eye moves because as you well know, when the pupil rolls over that spot right in here, the eye does bulge out a little bit or the eyelid, the lower eyelid bulges out a little bit. Okay, so if you want to add a little bit more realism, um, you can definitely do that um, to make your eye or to make your character look a little bit more believable when the eyes are moving around. 
Alright, so then I'm gonna just go ahead and unhide that layer, which is my bones layer. And then I'm gonna go to uh, pivot, a rotation, and uh, let me hide the controllers. And then, as you can see, the eyes are moving. Whoa, look at that eyeball. That sucker's just saying hello. Alright, but as you can see, I had to reset the eyes. But, um,. That kind of looks evil, but as you can see, the eyes move accordingly. Okay, so I hope that helped um, for anyone that's looking to do this type of um, transformations, morph targeting with the eyes, and not having to worry about um, using a whole bunch of bones and you know getting confused and getting frustrated with the weighting and whatnot. And um, you know, me personally, it just keeps everything a little bit neater, a little bit tighter. And a little bit less of a pain in the neck. All right, you guys. So if you liked it, comment. If you have any questions, comment. If you hate it, keep your comments to yourself. Unless it's a really funny comment. All right, later.